A major tool we use as composers is sample libraries and they can range in price from everything from free to thousands and thousands of pounds and it can be hard to decide well do I need to spend a thousand pounds or can I get away with using free stuff and before I even start talking about uh, external libraries most digital audio workspaces come with free stuff already I know Logic Pro X comes with I think like 60 or 80 gigabytes worth of samples reason is another good one that comes with a ton of free stuff and i'm not too familiar with the other daws i think pro tools comes with a couple of free ones cubase definitely comes with some free stuff but it's worth just playing around messing with those getting familiar with them working with them because they're free and before you're going to spend any money you kind of need to at least set the baseline get some skill in using samples and then when you kind of realize this is what I do then you can kind of push the boat out but before you even look for paid stuff there is a host of amazing and high quality samples available for free and I'm going to show you those places to find them now first we're going to start off with the decent sampler now this was a project done by David Hillowitz. He has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Check him out. He does a lot of great videos about creating your own samples. And of course the free stuff we're going to be looking at right now. And so the decent sampler is free to actually download. And then if we look that you've got a couple of free samples here as well and a couple of paid ones. But the main reason I wanted to start with this because when we go on to talk about Piano Book, which is a community based project put together by Christian Henson, you'll find a lot of the samples on there are available now on Decent Sampler, which is great because originally a lot of the instruments on there are available on Contact, not the free version of Contact, but the paid version, which I know we're talking about free samples. But if there was something I could tell you right now and is really, really worth investing in, and that is contact six, because once you have that sampler, it's the industry standard sampler, the amount of free things that become available to you is worth 10 times its weight in gold. And I think you can get it for about 50% off. I know they're doing a sale right now and it's probably about 170 pounds, which sounds like a lot of money, but let's move on we're talking about free stuff so let's skip that for now so yes decent sampler you've got lots of little things slinky violin box heart uh, resonant glocking spiel box violin sustains lots of fun little things and I'll probably do a separate video maybe doing some demos of a load of these instruments but I just want to flick through all the different places for free sample libraries right now so this is one Let's move on to the next, and that is Piano Book. As I said, this was set up a couple of years ago by Christian Henson, co-founder of Spitfire Audio, and it's deceptive because it says Piano Book, but it's not just for pianos. If we just look on the libraries, the drop down, you've got choirs, wind instruments. Well, you can read. Look there. There's hundreds of instruments. I think specifically there is 631. <laughs> and they are all free and there are new ones added almost every week and i know the older ones are slowly being put onto the decent sampler a lot of the new ones are available through just contact and sometimes the actual sampler within logic as well so if we go to one of those uh, specifically king's cross london underground you can see here downloads contact decent sampler and the ableton sampler as well which is great there's a load of demos here and this is oh, you can't quite see that because of my face let's move that thing and this is another great way of getting your work out there is downloading these instruments creating a demo sending it to piano book which you can do see through the contribute uh, contribute an instrument uh, demos and it kind of breaks down how to actually do that upload your track to SoundCloud and then send it to them you can read through this in your own leisure but it's a way of getting your work out there and people listening to your work and the quality of these libraries is amazing let's just listen to one of the demos of this King's Cross Library Underground
So right here, you can listen to the demos. There's a little video they do, a little description of the instrument. You can read the reviews as well and see what people think and all free. And it's an amazing community project, especially if you want to get into sampling, learning how to sample. They, they tell you how to do it there. A great project, a great place to find some amazing free samples. So we've talked about that. Let's move on again to the next one. We're just going to fly through these. And if you've been composing for any amount of time or even maybe just dipping your toes in, I'll be surprised if you haven't already heard about Spitfire Audio's free labs instruments. These are absolutely gorgeous and absolutely amazing. And I know on their own website, or uh, their YouTube channel, Spitfire Audios, they do videos just talking about how to compose just using their labs. And there's such a wide range of products. If you look here, strings, guitars, pianos, brass, drums, percussion, synths, experimental. There is no end and they're continually coming out with new instruments. And I remember when I started out, I think they only had maybe five of these available. They're absolutely amazing. And some of them are actually quite famous and on some tracks that you've probably heard on the radio. I know the soft piano is definitely quite famous and on some famous tracks, I can't tell you specifically, but I remember Christian Henson mentioning it in a video at some point, but all available for free and absolutely amazing for starting out in. So let's quickly move on to the next one. Now this project only began, I think a year ago, maybe not even a year old actually, it's the Sign Factory by Orchestral Tools. Now these guys are absolutely amazing. They do some jaw-droppingly amazing samples and jaw-droppingly expensive samples. But for free stuff, you cannot go wrong. So right now they only have six different sample libraries available ranging from a guitar the organ the organ is probably one of my favorites actually it's so realistic uh brass instruments i've actually recently used this one on a project uh the piano not my favorite there's better ones out there for free uh some percussion and some strings so all your basics there all free you have to subscribe you put your email in they send you stuff every so often free gorgeous and it gets you familiar with their sampler called Sign Player. So if you ever do want to purchase any of their instruments, it gets you familiar with how to use it, how to work it. They also do some great videos on their channel, on their YouTube channel, teaching you how to use a Sign Player. So there's that place. The next one I'm going to talk about, you might not be too familiar with. I found this one on a Facebook forum and one of their instruments is free, only one of them. But it's a lovely little company. I think it's just one gentleman actually makes these but he has a free half speed piano here and it's really characterful and I should have probably talked about this one in the video I did about um, different pianos but it's free to use and it's very unique it's very different but it's very very well done it's definitely worth downloading because well it's free why would you not and so there's felt, I think the literal, he's just called felt instruments. And now the final one I want to talk about is to do with the BBC Symphony Orchestra that Spitfire Audio did. You can see here the discovery version, which they call the universal starting point, which it really is. Now, if we look into, well, or free, all you have to do is fill in a little survey. I think it takes five, 10, minutes and then you can download it after 14 days and it's definitely worth doing because you get every single instrument in the orchestra yes it's not the pro version but i think that's five six seven hundred pounds but it gives you every single individual instrument it gives you the the basic articulation set it introduces you to how that sort of works and it gives you an introduction to those sounds. And they're absolutely amazing. I keep saying that, but when something's free, can it really be anything else? You know, if it was terrible, fine, delete it. You didn't spend any money on it, but it is well worth just downloading to dip your toes into it, to get a feel for it. And 
get a feel for what they can offer you. And then if you want to later down the road, invest, upgrade, etc., and you're already familiar with the user interface, and so you can transition quite easily into those higher products. And I know as well, um, I do tutoring on the side. The students I work with normally work with the free version of this. I have the pro version. They send me their files. All you got to do is click and you can transition between the two or I can listen to how they've done it with theirs. It's a really nice way of collaborating as well. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful project. And as I said, you get a little bit of everything and it's just that step up from those logic strings, those logic brass instruments. Now, I hope this video has been helpful. We've kind of just flown through all these different free instruments, but there is so many out there. You know, we've got the Decent Sampler, you've got Piano Book, you've got Labs, you've got Orchestral Tools Sign Factory, you've got the Felt Instruments, and of course, you've got another Spitfire Audio product, the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discoverer. I hope this video has been helpful. You've got a lot to play with. Have a lot of fun with these. Experiment, mess around, create some tracks, have some fun. And as always, I will see you in the next video.